Hi, I'm Bryce with Turkey Meadows Water Systems. Today I want to talk about a leaking faucet from a reverse osmosis system. A common complaint that people have, or a common issue, is that the hole in the faucet above the sink leaks water. And that's caused, um, here we have a little kind of a breakdown of what your faucet looks like. Here's what you see from the sink up. This is what you don't see that's beneath your sink. You've got three lines here. One, this is the good water as it comes into your faucet. This is the drain water that comes from your reverse osmosis unit that's typically red, this line here, but for today we just have it a different color so you can see. And this this uh, line here is what connects to the drain itself. The only difference between these two lines and the telling difference is that this one is always smaller than the one that actually goes to the drain. So with normal operation, water comes from your reverse osmosis unit up to your faucet and literally falls through a small pocket of air here called an air gap and that basically keeps any drain water from back siphoning into your filter system. So normal operation you have water flowing in here, out this tube here and running out into your drain, something like that. So what happens is when stuff grows inside that tube as things are want to grow in, in drains, you get restriction and now this is no longer the point of resistance, so water will start coming out this hole and running all over your sink, which you've probably seen. Uh, so all we do to fix that is we clear out this drain, it's able to flow freely again, and water stops flowing out the air gap. What you typically see underneath your sink where the line connects to your drain is a saddle that looks something like this. It's a threaded compression fitting that will just screw right off and when you pull on it like that, you can just take a, a pipe cleaner or a wire brush of some kind, clean that out as best you can, um, and it's a good time also to clean out this end of it for two reasons. One, stuff grows in there, but also these have a tendency to shift when you're stuffing things under the sink, and if that hole isn't lined up just right, that also will restrict the flow. So once you've got that all cleaned out, you can just screw it back on. As long as it's nice and tight, you shouldn't have any further problems. If the problem does persist, there's a couple of other solutions. Um, you want to call our office at 775-324-2001. Thanks.